my name is Stacy, and this is my husband Mario. Hi. And you're listening to Podcorn. This is actually our first podcast together, and today we're reviewing a movie called Eighth Grade. And the actors are Elsie Fisher playing Kayla, who's the main actress, and her dad Josh Hamilton, who's playing Mark. Mm-hmm. So just to tell you what this movie is about, uh, I'm going to read straight off of the IMDb page. An introverted teenage girl tries to survive the last week of her disastrous eighth grade year. Year before <laughs> leaving to start high school. Yeah. Year's a big word, so. <laughs> so anything past this point is spoiler alert or spoiler territory. So do not right. listen if you have not seen it. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so the movie starts off kind of. I mean, I really felt like awkward. Yeah, I felt like I felt like I was living through eighth grade with her for real. For me, I, I it felt really real. It felt authentic. Everything that she was going through. I mean, uh, I took some notes too over here. So the principal dabbing. It's. I mean, I didn't go through that because um, there's an age difference between me and her. Uh, the generation's different, but uh, I can so see like an older teacher or somebody or principal trying to fit in with the younger crowd and doing something that maybe yeah, they shouldn't be doing. It's, and it's terrible. Yeah, it's just terrible. It's terrible. And then one of their, their educational videos on sex education, she's basically saying, "This you're going to enjoy this. It's going to be lit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what you lit is like... No. No, no <laughs> not for that. <laughs> So that, I felt the same thing there. So I, that I liked. I mean, I felt that was authentic. So I, I liked that they added stuff like that. And uh, the score overall, I loved. The music to it, I thought was great. I liked yeah. the, like, synthy kind of electro uh, yeah, that too, yeah. 80s kind of sound they had. So I thought that was amazing. And a lot of the scenes in that, I th- that where they added that music and stuff, I thought they did a great job. Um, anything else that you... Well, you know... Um... It was, it, it, it was, I understood that there is definitely people that go through this and children their age that go through that. It was not relatable to me. I do feel like a girl um, like her, the character, the main character, Kayla, I do feel like she would have had at least one friend and a very good friend, if not a few more. So that to me was a little bit unrealistic. Yeah, I agree. I think, I think I, you're right. At least, at least one, right? Or uh, a little crowd of people that she would, everywhere, even high school. I mean, when I was going to high school, I was, in my first years of high school, uh, considered a bit of an outcast. And I had friends. And, you know, so I, I agree that maybe that didn't seem too authentic. But who knows? I mean, it I, is- I don't want to explore too much about it because, you know, maybe there's people that, that don't. I mean, they, that they really can't connect with other people, right. you know, of their age group and it's, it's sad to think about. Yeah, so it didn't hurt the movie too much. For, no, for me absolutely anyway. not. And I, I don't know. <laughs> so it, it's a thing in high schools for teachers to vote most quiet. In. Yeah, that didn't seem good. That, that seemed like a bad move on the administration. Well, maybe for teachers, it's like a, it's a thumbs up, you know, most quiet student. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no trouble. I don't, I don't know. Because <laughs> at one point, they're sitting in an auditorium and the teachers are handing out awards for... Um, you know, different things. Class clown, class clown which athletic. again is, you don't want to hand yeah. out an award for class clown. That didn't seem to make much sense to me either. I know, but I do feel like it wasn't an, like it's a mention, you know? Right. I, I do feel like that it was mentioned in my yearbook, class clown. You're right, yeah, like maybe that, in the yearbook. You know? So fine, but most quiet kind of doesn't, you know, it's not, and it makes the, the person that gets the award maybe not feel good about the award, right? So, yeah. especially her, because she wanted to be, uh, uh, through her videos and everything, you can tell that she wants to be an ext- extrovert, right? And then she gets most quiet, which, like, you know, is the opposite of what she's trying to yeah. portray herself as. But she is. I mean, she is quiet. But she definitely was the quiet she, one. I find at times she does choose to be reclusive. And and then, yeah, she, she works very hard to try to break out of that. And you, you don't see a maternal figure at any point during no. this because as you, as you find out later, her mother left them, right? When she was yes, really young. Yes, but a very tiny mention that when your mother left during a conversation. So Towards the end of the movie. You don't know what happened and why or anything like that. And it's hard as, as a teenage girl to grow up and not 
have a mom around to show you this is why she's watching videos on how to put makeup on and things like that. Mm-hmm. I mean, maybe she would still if she had a mom, you know, all moms are going to be a little bit in the past and not know the modern way of. Yeah, fixing, but, but you know, I, I didn't even think about that, but that's why it's good to have a, like a woman's pers- perspective yeah, of it as well. Yeah. And I found it was funny that she's supposed to be the quiet one, but she was playing the cymbals in the band, you know, like I, 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 I don't know if they did it on purpose or if the, the director was going for something like that. But she was making the big, loud, crashing noises in the background. <laughs> but she's the quiet one, right? So yeah. I don't know if that had it anything to do with it. It means a lot more than just that, though, I find. like Because Plus cymbals it was a simple... are unnoticed. They're just in the background. But and... loud, right? Of and course. Yes, splashy, yes. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Actually, I, I, that's not something I thought of. Yeah. You're so right. I thought that was cool. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if you... Well, actually, I do remember because we, we both made a face or we even made a comment. Um, who uses Facebook anymore? That kind of yeah. made me feel bad, right? <laughs> I, don't, I didn't even know what that meant. What do people use then? Other, than, I understand Instagram is very popular today. Because we're parents, by the way. I don't know if we mentioned that or I don't think so. No, I don't think so. So um, we're parents of one three-year-old and one seven-year-old. So. Exactly. So I, and we still use Facebook. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't keep up. <laughs> <laughs> She's not using Facebook anymore, but she uses my Facebook to. So, you know, but um, I find like, why? Why? What's wrong with Facebook? Is something wrong with Facebook? <laughs> but I guess there is. And um, the whole Enya, they played a song from Enya in there, Sail Away. And I thought that was really cool. It's like this uh, kind of 90s, um, I forgot the genre. But um, it's uh, it's kind of an odd song to put in a movie like this, I find. But it was cool because the, the scene that they had it in, she was... Um, Scrolling through, like, uh, it was, like, late at night, she was lying alone in her room after she had had supper with her father or something, and she was just, like, scrolling through different uh, GIFs and, like, uh, Demi Lovato, Jimmy Fallon, all kinds of famous people, and Snapchat, etc., so, and the song was called Sail Away, right, so she was kind of losing herself in this, uh, she was sailing away through the, uh, I don't know, what would you call that? Yeah, but it's sad, because when you're that age, you just, you see these celebs, and and the girls in your high school that are prettier and things like that. And you just think that they've, they're have they living the life, you know. But exactly. everybody's got their problems. All of these stars that she scrolled through have something that's been posted on Everybody, the news. Just being or, human, right? Is, yeah. You know, it's just, it's hard to understand that when you're young. And this girl's journey, like, it's very believable, you mm-hmm. know, that someone would go through something like that at such a young age. But she's, I, I don't know, she's, I'm proud of her. She... She didn't give in to the boy who made her feel uncomfortable in the car. Yeah. She, yeah, she said, I do give blowjobs and I'm very good at that. But she didn't go through with any of it. Instead, you thought she was chasing the boy at the end to go, I don't know, get yeah, his she, attention. She had breakthroughs, right, throughout the movie. Yeah, like, she and, did. And she grew up. But she didn't do that. She went up to the girls and stood up to them, even though she didn't really look them in the eye. But it's still more than I'm sure most of us have ever done. Yeah, exactly. I, I actually, uh, that rant, like I felt like the rant wasn't for them, it was for her. Yeah. Like the fact that she didn't even look them in the eye, to me, meant it was yeah, great it that was they didn't die. Because it was all about her, exactly. Yeah. She didn't even care if they, if they would have, however they responded, I don't think it would have mattered to her at that it was point. It's a huge step for herself, you know. Which is a big, yeah, big step forward. So, you know, she, she did learn from everything and if you can call them mistakes, which I I don't know, she, she could have had a lot of regrets in, in, in in all of this situation. And she, she didn't, she, she rose above a lot of her, a lot of problems. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Things that she was trying to deal with. And also that, that scene, I don't know if you like the scene, but I thought it was really cool with the, where she was like hyperventilating in the bathroom and the music in the background. She was trying to, and I just, I feel that, you know, like I, I know, I'm not a. No, same I was, here. I was never a young girl, but I, I. I'm sorry, but there's so many people I talked to today that even even if they didn't talk about it or show it, that those things happen to people. I still have those issues today. Yeah, like see? I have weight weight <laughs> issues, right? So I don't want to like. And I was heavy. Nothing to do with that. I was really heavy when I was a kid. So it was so much more than that. Though. It's embarrassing yeah. walking out in the bathing suit, right? So I totally understood her. And I, oh yeah. And then the music was great. It was like this, again, the synthy kind of sound. It kind of almost sounded like a horror movie soundtrack. It was very well done. It's the, my, I think my, my major complaint, which I like the character, but the actor, which, you know, but 
he wasn't very great at portraying her father, I find. Like, yeah, at we, times we, it could come off <laughs> a little creepy when I I don't think at all that's what they meant. Because I, I understood his character and it was great. It was supportive. It was uh, goofy. Uh, you know, makes mistakes as a dad, but it was very innocent. But he it wasn't portrayed very well. But Yeah, I agree also. I think I feel like I've seen the actor Josh, Josh Ham- Hamilton. Is that his name? I feel like uh, yeah. I've seen him in some other yeah. things, and I feel like I've never really felt like he was as bad. I hate to say that, but as bad as he was in this movie. Yeah. I just feel like they didn't cast him well at all in that role as her father. It wasn't believable. And, yeah. Anyway, and, I, I enjoyed the movie very much. It was it was a good journey with this girl. You, you know, I, I enjoyed it, but um, I, I feel a little sad by it. <laughs> a little, yeah depressed but that's just my take yeah i kind of feel that way too but i don't know why but i guess any kind of movie because our children are going to go to high school maybe, yeah, maybe. and they're going to face these things one day and you don't know how they're going to work they're going to talk to you about them or probably not or even if Hopefully both of do. us will be around when when that time comes that's true you know it's just it's all very scary as a parent to watch these things there's so much I mean there's so much emotions yeah as a parent it's a whole different a whole different take than if we weren't parents you know yeah. I, I could this movie really comes across and I, I don't know how it would be for an, a person in eighth grade actually watching this movie if they would feel it's authentic That's, I don't know if they would feel like they can relate or if they feel I don't know I think so. I think the character is very very relatable yeah and I think the actress did a great job. Oh, I agree. Yeah, I think she did a great job. Yeah. Sometimes I can feel she was acting. I mean, she's still young, uh, but overall, I, I loved her performance. I, I don't even feel that. I, I felt that when you felt that she was acting, it's because she's acting towards her, f- not friends, but to her classmates, because it's always putting on a show in high school, especially if you don't have a support system, if you don't have friendships. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I do think she would have had friendships. At least something, yeah. Something. It, it makes no sense. She's, she's, she's so brave, she's too. She's smart. She, exactly. Yeah. She puts herself out there, and she's cute, too. Like, no, definitely. You know? But she's she's so brave, right? I mean, like, um, they're trying... I don't know if they're trying to go for her being um, uh, kind of scared, in, in a sense. Not scared, but, like... Uh, introvert, yeah. Yeah, an introvert, which she she's was. She's supposed to be very But at shy. the same time, she took big chances, which uh, I had a lot of uh, problems in high school and stuff like that. You know, I was introverted, and... Um, yeah, but I was shy too. But people give you a chance, like that changed a bit as as the years went on towards the end of high school and that. But um, at the beginning, you know, it was pretty bad for me in, in some ways, and I I related to the character a lot. But I thought she was extremely brave. A lot of chances that she took uh, the karaoke. Remember yeah, that scene? Yeah, she took the mic and sang in front of everybody. That's not something I would have ever had the balls to do. No, and yeah. I love that they didn't make us hear what, yeah. the way she sounded because I think <laughs> it didn't still, matter still right wondering. yeah it didn't matter if she was good or bad it mattered that she tried yeah yeah I agree so I thought that You're was right. great and the music while she was singing everything was everything that they did musically I thought was very smart um I'm a musician so I'm looking at these things right and uh yeah. I think the the score and everything was great and I really I really like that aspect of it. Overall, the movie was great. Yeah, I, I agree. Like I said, I'm very proud of her. And the only reason I'm sad is because <laughs> I'm scared for my children to have to go and ever feel sad the way that she does. Or that they feel that they're not going to be accepted in any way. But we'll do you know, our best to, to show them love. And that's I think all we, you can do. I also think we should really like discuss at least a little bit, that because I think it's very important, the scene where she was in the car with that uncomfortable scene where... Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. So then there's this uh, person in high school because she, she is not in high school yet, but she ends up uh, meeting up with a girl that's in high school, and she's supposed to show her a, like ra- a guide, you know, like a guide, yeah. And she they they make friends. The girl's actually very very nice to her and unbelievably so. Un- a little bit unbelievable, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can be nice, but it's kind of goes a little far. But anyways, it's okay. I guess there could be people like that out there. Yeah. And. Um, she makes her hang out with her in the um, shopping center, this and that. And then on the way home, when she's being driven home, there's a young boy that's in high school as well. And they end up in the car together. And she doesn't have any experience with uh, boys. Well, he's trying like to take advantage of her in a sense that he can tell she's completely inexperienced mm-hmm. and a little bit desperate for attention. And he knows that she has not done anything. 
previously. Right. So he's trying to take advantage of that, and he's using like puzzle language and and trying to trick her into t- taking off her shirt and moving forward. But you know, I was so proud of her there because that could have been a mistake and a regret, but she did not give in. She yeah. kind of freaked out a little bit and said no. But at least you know what that boy, as much as you want to say bad, he took the hint. He understood yeah. that she did not want any part of it, and that's it. Yeah, it's it good that the way she said no was telling her, you know, what what he he thinks happened, so that she doesn't pass on a, a negative message about him. But it yeah, doesn't matter. Trying to like because uh, it ended there. He was like trying to coach her in a way, you know. He, he was. Yeah. He was, but you know what? I don't care because he did not push it any further. Yeah, and he tries to give it again. I mean, I don't know. This might come off. I hope this doesn't come off wrong, but as as a uh, you know, it was a young boy once upon a time. It's hard sometimes, right? Like not in his case. He was obviously taking advantage. Like he knew that he was the older one here and that she was more inexperienced yeah, and all that. So like there's no excuses. But you know? yeah, there was, they did have that feeling to it. But um, you know, sometimes you're not sure. He was trying to be. He was trying to see if she was yes, I into it. Yes, I that you boys will try and No, 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 that's not what I'm trying to <laughs> Even if it's I'm not innocent. Giving, I'm not saying that it's okay what he did. I'm I not, know, I'm not I trying understand. to do that. I'm just trying to say that I don't know if uh, his character was totally skeevy. Like, he was just trying to be a skis ball the whole way through. I didn't really see it that way. I think that to, overall it was. Um, his intentions weren't the best. And it, and it was obvious that he shouldn't have went as far as he was going. He knew it. He even knew it, right? Yeah. yeah. Later on, he was trying to, like you, like we said, he was trying to come up with a way to make it okay. Oh, yeah, telling her, stop saying sorry. Because yeah. he felt Because he felt too, bad. You know? Exactly. So, yeah. overall, but there was some, like, he was trying to weigh out, does she want this? Does she not? So, the fact that she said no and, you know, so assertively and stuff was perfect. That's, you know, and... Thank or God he, he was wasn't scared. Like I think he heard her tone, you know. Yeah. But it's okay. He backed off. And that was a good scene because it was very. I yeah. think that things like this happen all the time. Right? Yeah, I know. You know. And yeah, because a boy will try, but if the girl says no, you know. Yeah, no is no, right? I mean, and it was good that she said no the way she did, and she didn't just do it because she wanted to try to be cool. Yes, or... thank God. Yes, I know. So we have a rating system of our own. Mm-hmm. Uh, we do it like uh, popcorn flakes. So it's one out of four popcorn flakes. One being the least and four obviously being the best. So if you get four popcorn flakes, it was, a, I guess, a fantastic movie. And um, one, it wasn't too good. And if it's our absolute bomb, then we're going to go with Colonel, right? That's really bad. Okay. That's yeah. got to be like really bad. Right. Unpopped. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you give it? So... I think this is um, a three out of four okay. popcorn flakes because I find that the message was put across very well. Yes, it was poor acting on the father's part. And the, also, this is not a relatable movie to everybody. I mean, you know, to teenage girls and even then it would have to be to a, a certain yeah. type of girl or somebody who's empathetic or sympathetic. To this girl situation and you know not every generation will understand this movie so for me three out of four it was well done great yeah no you, you know, i mostly agree I, I would give it a little bit less i'm going like 2.5 popcorn flakes i'm gonna be harsh <laughs> i'm gonna be harsh i'm just like that it's it's not that i didn't like the movie i thought it was great i want to give it a three i really want to give it a three I, i'm i'm if there's a way to do like 2.9 popcorn flakes, I'd go there, but I don't want to go three. It's just because I don't know. I find three is so close to four, right? And if it's going to be that close, then I, I want it to be that good. But I still thought it was really good. So halfway, right? I'm meeting this movie halfway. Whatever. I think I will be more positive in this case just because I'm so proud of her. No, definitely. I loved the movie. I thought it was a good movie. Would I recommend That's this like movie? Said, 100%. Yeah. You can't recommend it to everybody, though, like I said. No, no. There's people that I would not recommend this movie to. So. People like action movies or like they don't want to hear. Yeah, uh, it's they, a, they can't. It's very story-driven. Yeah. yeah. There's no action really at all. So. It's okay. I enjoyed it and I'm glad we watched it. I no, definitely. It's, it's, it's nothing I'm uh, like, I don't regret watching this movie in any way. I thought it was great. I agree. Well, thank you very much for listening to our first podcast. 
This is Podcorn and bye from Stacy and Mario. Take care, bye.